Number three, circles question. Although, strictly speaking, not really a circles question because it's a tangents question. You have to show that this line is a tangent to that circle, which would be exactly the same technique as showing that this line was a tangent to a parabola or a cubic. So I'm not going to be interested in taking the circle as a circle as such and finding its centre and its radius. It's just an equation. I want to show that this has only got one point in common with that. Well, that'll be a substitution then. So I take my two equations and I'll just proceed as if I was going to carry out a substitution to find a point of intersection. So I'm going to substitute equation 1 in equation 2. Wherever I see a y, I'm going to replace it with 6 minus 2x. So equation 2 would read x squared plus, as soon as I come across y, I write 6 minus 2x squared, plus 6x minus 4 times 6 minus 2x minus 7 equals 0. Now there's only x's left, highest power 2, I'm going to have a quadratic equation in x, which hopefully will just have the one unique solution, so that it'll be a tangent. So I'm multiplying that lot out, what have I got? x squared, square the brackets, so square the first, 36, square the last, 2 twos are 4, x times x, x squared, plus 4x squared. In the middle, twice the product, it's a subtract, 2 sixes are 12, doubled, 24x plus a 6x, minus a 24, plus an 8, minus a 7, equals 0. Now let's just add it all up. We've got 1 and 4 is 5. That's 5x squared. So I'd like to see some more 5s, because I know that I only want one answer. I really want the square of a bracket. And I'm not going to get the square of a bracket with a 5 sitting at the front of it. Right, what have we got for the rest of it? Now, x's, I've got minus 24, plus 16, plus 8, that's plus 14, so that's minus 10, that'll do very nicely. And then for the numbers, I've got a 36, take away a 24, down to 12, take away 7, down to 5. Perfect, because there are 5s there. And I'll take that out before I consider which route I'm going to approach. I'll take out this 5. I could just divide it straight out, it's not really of any further interest to me. I'm not going to need it to evaluate a sign or anything. Eh... Hey, Minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. At this point, I could either find its discriminant and then make my statement, since the discriminant is 0, the line is a tangent. But since the question asks for you to go further and find the point of contact, I might as well continue and solve that. So that's 5 times, and again, that would have to be a square if it was going to be a tangent, because there can only be one answer. So that would be x minus 1 that would form that. I don't know why I put a 1 there. Equals 0. And at this point I just have to be careful how I'm going to put the answer down. Well that means x equals 1. And my statement is this. You can either say only one point of intersection, so the line is a tangent, or I could say I've got this. I'll sort of try and pair it with the discriminant a little bit by saying I've got equal roots because it was really x equals 1 or 1. Equal roots, which means the line is a tangent. You always find tangents with equal roots when you've got pairings of roots. And then find what y is. Now that I've found what x is, pop it back into one of the equations. Let's just put it back. No, we're not. Let's just put it back in there. Just kidding. So I've got 6 minus 2 times 1 which is 6 take away 2, which is 4. So there I've got, there's my answer. So the point of contact, might as well put the wording down, the point of contact, looks like an F, point of contact is 1, 4. Underlining that part as well, because it asked for a demonstration of that. There it is.